So did you get a harmonica for Christmas? Did somebody give you a harmonica and say, uh, or did you go and buy a harmonica? Do you want to learn how to play? Want to learn how to play blues? You know, I've made a, a number of kind of absolute raw beginner, day one, stage one, quick start, DIY, blues harmonica videos over the years. I'm going to try to make one more, just for the hell of it. Uh, this is December 31st, 2018. Um, I'm just going to try to give you three things that will get you quick started. This is a C harp, Horner Marine Band. Please don't email me and ask what harmonica you should get. I've been playing these for 44 years. I love them. It's one of the very few instruments, I think, in the world of professional musicianship where the pro can actually play the same instrument as the beginner. You can, they're both, it's affordable to both, and it happens to be a really good instrument. And I am an official endorser, uh, but I, I am because I've been playing it for 44 years. Anyway, let's get to the point. So, I'm going to show you three things. The first is just to play a single note and use your hand. The second is how to go with some uh, is how to do some in and out chords, and the third is how to do a warble on the four and five hole draw. If you put them together, you get something like this. Actually, you only need two things. The in and out chord and the 4-5 warble don't really need the... But that's just cool because your friends, or the person who gave you the harmonica, will be saying, can you play that thing yet? So if you can go... Alright. So, but let's start with the chord and the warble. And those two things together, if you can do those two things together. So what I'm doing is, I'm going to start by taking the harmonica away from my mouth. Well, actually, we'll start with the harmonica by the mouth. Already I'm in trouble with the lesson. Already the happy face is coming back. So let me let me get serious. So I make my lips big and fat, as opposed to small and narrow, which most beginners do. I go like that, and it plays really easy when you do that. It's a weird, it's a weird embouchure. That's what I do. So you might try that. And I'm going to play the one, two, three draw. Make a nice sound like that, as opposed to that's with my lips all first in, right? So do that. It, it's easy. It doesn't take any strength. Doesn't take any finesse. Just takes a good ear, and you have to know the right duck mouth thing to make. So again, this is harmonica 101 DIY quick start. Okay. Draw in, then blow out. And it should sound nice. It should sound like the, the notes are, are, are niblets on an ear of corn and they're all lining up. If it doesn't sound like that, try again. Little cricket, do it again. If it sounds like this, you're doing the wrong embouchure. You don't have to try harder. You have to try less. Try easier. Try softer. Make sure the harp is right between your mouth, your lips, not falling away. Because if it falls away, terrible. Okay, so so what seems like a simple thing in and out chords is actually there's just a few tricks, but it's not hard to do if I show you what to do. And by the way, I have a website called modernbluesharmonica.com. When you Google, Google the words blues harmonica, it comes up right away, second or third thing on page one. You, easy to find me. Adam Gusso is the name. Okay. Modern Blues Harmonica out of Oxford, Mississippi. So you got a Mississippi harmonica player teaching you how to play. Um, okay. Let's draw and, and blow. Okay. Now, take the harp away and just go da 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 da. Just go da 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 da. Drawing in. Da 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 da. Just breath. Just air. <clears throat> da 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 da. Sort of more like da 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 da. So you got a slightly longer one, a slightly shorter one, but it's just da 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 or da 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 da. Right. Now you put the harp in front. That's pretty damn good. 
You're already sounding like a harp player. Now you can wave your hand. Stand right away. You're, you're already doing something. And now do the same thing blowing out. Go ta 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 ta. All right. When you can do that, then try to shorten both of them so that you're going got da 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 ta 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 da da ta ta da. And you should be able to do that without the harp. Da da ta ta da da ta ta da da ta ta da da ta ta da. Not too hard. Da da ta ta da da ta ta da. If you can't do that without the harp, it's not going to sound right with the harp. If you can do it without the harp, da da ta ta. And you put the harp in front and you can make that chord already. How about that? Now here's one little hack that's really important and that most of the pros don't even know about, which is when you're blowing out, don't try to just go touch it, kind of blow it away from your mouth just a little. That way you can breathe harder on the way out and you're not, and you don't get a clotted up sound. That would be the clotted up sound. So just do that. Now, nine out of 10 of you beginning players, even though I've shown you everything completely sequentially with complete and 100% lucidity and clarity are gonna not be doing what I was just doing. Instead, you're gonna take little mini breaths. And instead of going, you're going to try to do it all with your breath and go <clears throat> you might even not use your tongue you're just going to try to do it with breath that's totally wrong i never taught you that i did not tell you to do that but you're going to be doing that it's amazing how it works am i right if i'm right well at the bottom of the video and let me know in the comment that i that i that i got you that i busted you okay i'm getting too smiley faced darn it i'm going to Stay mean. So that's the rhythm. Now the warble, I'm going to put it together and just alternate it with the warble. A warble is just where you're going with two notes. In this case, the four draw, pull air through, and the five draw. Now if you can, you can start just like that. Probably hard for you, but again, you have to have good embouchure to get that single note. And then of course you gotta know you gotta know how far to each side to move it. And and that's a, a question of choice and let your ear be the guide. That can take years to get it so it's that smooth. Now I use my hands. There are people who use their heads. They do fast. It gives me a Kind of a green feeling and I think I look like the kind of guy you'd want to sort of step away from on the street. So I'm not going to do that. Okay, so let's try that. Now, if you can tap your foot while you're doing all this, you're ahead of the game. And I'll say, I'm going to do that four times. That's one. And now I'm going to do the warble. And I breathed out in the middle after two. Now, can you do that? It's a lot. That's a lot for a beginner, I think, to, to, to do. But if you can do anything that sounds anything like it, so, okay, I'm going to detune completely and try to, let me, I'm going to try to pretend that I'm a beginner and somebody gave me one of these for Christmas. Okay. All right. Cool. Cool. Uh, I'm going to do almost everything wrong. Actually, 
actually I'm just doing it right. I cannot detune like a beginner. I just can't do it. I'm a working pro and I, I, I have my standards. So, all right, well, good, we're done. We're done, we did those two things and you have a, a, a sort of rhythm. Ideally, you would be tapping your foot or, or uh, I'll tap my hand to give you the, the beat. <laughs> my hand is not coordinated the right way. You've got to just keep the foot going. Well, we're done. We're done. Uh, and I put in a little extra kind of fancy stuff there at the end. Um, no fake news on this channel. Just real blues harmonica, modern blues harmonica. That was your first lesson. Um, if you're interested, well, check out. I've got hundreds of videos on this channel, hundreds on my other channel. Just put in, go to YouTube and put in Gusso Harmonica channel. You, you'll find both channels. And have a you know, it's, it's, it's the last day of the year. Maybe you're watching this on January 1st, 2019. Are you like me? Do you always, when you write that first check or two of the new year, do you always put the last year's number? Hmm. Okay, it's Adam Gusso, and uh, I'll see you down the line. Bye-bye.